Students from St. Luke's Middle School in Manhattan have traveled to Long Island City in the borough of Queens to Newcomers High School. As people around the country argue about immigration, two groups of students come together to try to understand the issue on a personal level. I take the kids on the subway. We come out at Queens Plaza and it's very industrial, it's very loud, it's very noisy. Uh, it's very exciting, but it's also very real. Newcomers High School is a school for newly arrived immigrants um, and our students generally haven't been in any school in the United States before. So all of our students are English language learners. They come from over 50 different countries. They speak over 60 different languages. As I grew up, I started to experience discrimination against girls from boys. For instance, I wasn't allowed to go outside alone. I had to stay home and do housework. Three years ago, when I was 14, my family and I had to emigrate here because in Ecuador, our economic situation wasn't sufficient. Learning a new language and adapting into a new culture, my father's pancreas cancer complicated. He was going to die. My sister and I were born in a poor family. The wage of my father in a month in US is equal to the budget of our family in a whole year in China. Since Julie Mann and Kim Allen met 12 years ago at a Facing History teacher training, students from newcomers in St. Luke's have collaborated annually on projects that center on human rights. We started matching the students and every year it starts with letter writing. So my students write letters about themselves and we start writing back and forth. Today, the buddies are meeting face to face for the first time. In this year's project, called Building Bridges, newcomer students will share their personal immigration stories, and the St. Luke students will interview the newcomers about their lives and turn the findings into research papers. We include um, our story as immigrants, what difficulties we have faced, what difficulties we had to pass through when we first came here, and what's our condition now. What was coming to America like? Um, it was full of excitement and I knew that our life is going to be far more better than before because we have more opportunities here than, in, than living in Nepal. Was it hard to adapt to America? Yeah, that was hard because like, it's not the same food, it's not the same language, it's not the same like, friends and, and like, school because you need to start like, a new life. Again. So, uh, did you feel ashamed to be an immigrant? Uh, not really, but I feel ashamed to s tell my story, you know, my, how, how I did came here in the United States. Because we came here in the United States because of the Civil War in Congo. And in part of that, as a result of the Civil War, my father was a victim of that. Uh, that's kind of, anytime I think of that, it makes me kind of hate, like, you know, those, what they did to my father. My buddy's name is uh, Owen. He's an amazing kid. I spoke to my buddy as he's leaving. He was like, I love, your, I love your story. And if you mind, I can use your story to tell, to ch tell people. I was like, go ahead. That's what I wanted. I wanted to publish it so people can see that uh, these people came to the United States because of something. Julie's students, like the larger immigrant population, are struggling with the perception that their presence in this country is a threat and that their differences make them dangerous. It's important that people get to know that Im immigrants are not bad people, that we're not here to um, take away things from um, Americans, that we're here to, to help, to work, to get a better future, a better life. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot to remember. I have two buddies, and their names are Fernando and Jonathan. They're actually, they're really great. I learned that um, Jonathan wants to be an electrician, which I didn't really expect. And I also found out that Fernando wants to be um, a mechanic, which is really cool. Um, 
So I got to know a little bit about what they what their goals are. They want to they want to have jobs. They want to be responsible people. I think for the students at St. Luke's who have had little experience with new immigrants to the United States, they might have one idea of who who they are, and they can read about it and they can learn about immigration. But unless they become friends, intimate friends with a person who's an immigrant, and and really understand what that struggle is about, it's it's hard for them to know what that means. And so. The further back Kim and I can step, the more real that relationship is going to be. I, I didn't know that there was a war in Congo, or like, and it, their, their life seemed so difficult, and they w just wanted to come here for a better life, and uh, I didn't have to deal with that, so it was really interesting to get to know their immigration story. It's really hard enough as it is to even get here, and that by giving them an even harder time, it's not doing anyone a favor. At the beginning, none of my friends wanted to tell their story because, like, that is something personal. Are you guys glad you came here? They're actually trying to know about you and, and your past and your feelings. Do you feel like an American? Like an American? Not really. <laughs> One of the kids today was crying during one of her interviews because many of the issues that the, the immigrant students are dealing with are very, very upsetting. But I think that um, there are issues that we have to talk about and um, I don't think that teenagers are as afraid to talk about it as adults are. I think they just have to be given the opportunity to. Over the next few months, students will continue to talk to their buddies through letters and in person, and the immigration essays they've collaborated on will be collected into a book. Thank you for my buddy. He's a very smart guy. Oh my God, very smart guy. <laughs> smarter, than, smarter than some teachers, you know? You know? He told me all my mistakes. Thank you, my friend. I will learn on it. It gives you hope that maybe someday there won't be like racial crimes. Now I feel like I really um, can make a change. It's a start, it's a beginning. No matter where you come from, what, what was your obstacles, what was your social standard, what was your family condition, you make your own identity. You prove the world who you are. Yeah.